for a second and see if we can figure it out. The ditch goes all the way over there and all the way to the street. And see these patterns? They look like treads. This isn't a ditch at all. This is a, a giant tire track. A giant tire track? Tracks bigger and wider and taller than your young selves. Am I right, boys? How did you know, Mr. Conrad? I've heard some other trucks saying they've seen the very same thing. Sounds like the great big tire. <gasps> big tire? What's that? Not what, but who. According to the legend, big tire roams around the forest near truck stops. His engine has the deepest growl. His headlights shine the brightest, and when he moves, the earth rumbles. Some say he's shy. Some say he's mean. And some even say that there is no Big Tire. Nobody has ever seen Big Tire, so we may never know for sure. If we could get a picture, then we could prove he's real. And I already know exactly what he must look like. There he is! Big tire! Whoa! Awesome super jump! I found you! Now everyone will know you're real! I bet he's a giant truck from the future! If he's that big, he's definitely loud! You can probably hear his engine for miles! You seem to know a lot about Big Tire. And you've never even seen him. It's all true, Mom. I know it. Hmm. I have an idea. How would you like to follow those tracks and see Big <gasps> Tire for yourselves? Maybe even take a picture. Really? We can look for Big Tire? <gasps> we'll use my X-T3700 camera with the digital zoom lens. The giant, huge, scary Big Tire? Well, that's what you boys say. Rally, how would you like to join these boys on their adventure? Rally! Surprise! I had a break from racing this week and I thought I'd come visit. I think they'll learn a lot about this so-called big tire. Always happy to hang with my little bro and his pals. Come on, Rally. Hurry up. We have to find him before he super jumps out of here. Hey, wait for me. The tracks disappear here. Big Tire didn't want us to find him, so he... He used his mighty fans to blow leaves over it. Mighty fans? But he can't fool us. If we move these leaves, the tracks will be as clear as day. Hey, Chuck, there's nothing there. I know what happened. He super jumped out of here. You sure about that? Oh, uh, we should be careful. He could land right on top of us. Maybe we should get out of the way. Uh, guys. You found them! I think he just made a turn, and the turn was covered by leaves. So he super jumped back. Pretty tricky, Big Tire. <laughs> Listen, that 
this to be Big Tire. And Hop and Hubcaps, he is mad. Big Tire does not like visitors. How do you know? Isn't it obvious? But we have to be brave. Come on. Are we sure we want to? Uh, uh, wait for me! Did you see that? It's from Big Tire's giant, shiny body. Uh, just like Soku said. Chuck says he doesn't like visitors, and Soku says he's shining lights. But how can those both be true? Would he want to be so flashy if he didn't want anyone to see him? <gasps> he must not have a choice, because he was sent to suck the energy from the sun to power his monster space station. Ah! Are you sure you don't want to see the super jumping, mighty fan blowing, visitor fearing truck from the future before you decide what he looks like? Yeah, come on, guys. We came all this way. Let's get our picture. Uh, we'll try. Okay, I guess. is using his super ray beam to break off the boulders and scare us. Super ray beam? Ah! Guys, here we go. Hey guys, you can't just drive away from me like that. We need to stick together so we won't get lost. Sorry, Rally. I guess we got, well, a little scared. And that made us run off without thinking. That's okay. I think we're close to Big Tire. Should we go get a look at him? Uh... Good, let's go. So, we're looking for a super jumping, giant fan blowing, boulder throwing, sun sucking, angry monster truck from the future with a super ray beam. Does that sound about right? Exactly. Ready? Young trucks have mistaken me for Big Tire. But really, my name is Sigmund. I'm just a big construction truck. So you don't growl at trucks who get too close to you? Dear heavens, no. And you're not sucking the sun's energy for your futuristic space station? <laughs> not that either. And you're not going to super jump out of here so you won't be found? You already found me. Right. But what was all that noise, and the reflecting light, and the flying boulders? Oh, that! Well, you see, I'm training for the strength competition of the Great Truck Games. The engine noise you heard must have been the sound of me dragging this weight up the hill. Watch! Reflected light must have been from this heavy hubcap I throw. And as for the boulders, well, let's just say I need better aim when I practice tossing them. We were scared for no reason. You're not scary at all. You're nice. Do you mind if we take a picture? Then we can show everybody what you really look like. There goes our proof. Hmm, perhaps you could return with something better than a photograph. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Look. Big Tire isn't Big Tire at all. He's just a really big truck. And he's really nice. And he drove us home. That's great, Chuck. You know, we thought we knew all about him because we heard a story and we imagined all these kind of scary things. But we must have awesome imaginations, because when we met him, we realized we were totally wrong. His name isn't even Big Tire. It's... Hiya, Sigmund. Thanks for driving the boys home. Any time, Porter. 
You know each other? Sure, but we wanted you to meet him for yourselves. I'm proud of you boys for getting to know the real Sigmund. How about we celebrate with a treat in the diner? Great yeah. idea! Sigmund? Hmm. I could use a break from training. Uh, Dad? <laughs> or we could just have a picnic outside the diner. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, is this about the toy you saw on last night's episode of Wheel Heroes? Yeah, Pogo Springers. That'd be a pretty big gift, Mr. Machine. You have to earn something like that. Why do you think you've earned it? Mom, those Pogo Springers will let me jump super high and super far. That's super duper high and far. Plus, it'll let me be extra helpful around the truck stop. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I had a wrench from the tool shed to fix that carburetor over there. No problem, Mom. Nothing to it. He's been having so much fun since he got his new pogo springers. And he's been so helpful, too. Won't that be the best? Chuck, explaining what the pogo springers will do and how much you'll have fun using them doesn't answer the question. Which is, have you earned those pogo springers? Well, I asked politely, didn't I? I said, please. No, son. This is something pretty special you're asking for. You're going to have to do something more than just be polite. Which you always should be anyway. I have an idea for a way you could maybe earn those springers. How? Well, the paved track is still a mess after yesterday's race. If you could clean it all up and do a good job. Red Hot Turbo Chargers! A simple little cleaning job? I'll have it done and earn my pogo springers in no time! <laughs> oh, I'll never get this done. This place is a disaster. It sure is, partner. Did you see that race yesterday? Oh, trucks were zooming, passing each other, and skidding out on the terrace. Yeah, I know. Hey, I heard you say you were never going to get something done. Buddy, what were you talking about? Oh, uh, I have to clean up this whole track if I want to get pogo springers. You mean the ones they showed on Wheel Heroes last night? Way! Jumping over things. You're gonna have so much fun with those pogo springers, buddy. You'll be bouncing higher than me. I can't wait till you get them. Well, you're gonna have to wait a while, Biggs. This looks like a big, long, no fun job. Unless maybe you want to help. Oh, well, that'd make the work go faster. And then I can get those pogo springers sooner. And once you get them, we can come up with all kinds of fun stuff to do. Like an obstacle course to try the springers out on. That's a great idea. Bumpers up. Friends, Friends for the long haul! Well, we're getting Chuck some pogo springers for his wheels. Can't wait to find out how it feels. To wear him when he eats his meals. This is taking too long, and it's boring. This would go so much faster if I had those springers right now. I pick up that trash, then bounce all the way over there to throw it away, and then bounce all the way back over here to help me with the tires. Don't worry, buddy. I've got the tires under control. He'll hop right over banana peels. Hey, Biggs. I've got an idea for how we can save even more time. Oh, yeah? Well, what's that? 
What if, while you're working here, I go to the dirt track and start building the obstacle course we'll use once I get my pogo sprayers? Oh, smudge my grill and call me streaky. That sounds like a great plan. But I want to work on the obstacle course, too. Well, later on, we can switch, and you can work on the course while I finish here. And when we're done, the pogo springer fun can start right away. Let's do it! jump over and stuff to jump through. That's a great start for my Pogo Springer obstacle course. I think I'll check on how Biggs is doing. Those Pogo Springers are almost mine. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna get Chuck those Pogo Springers for his wheels. I'm helping him because it's one of those friendship deals. Did I hear my name? How's it going, Biggs? It's going all right, partner. Just kind of slow, because there's a lot to clean up. Yeah, there really is. I think I got the fun part of the deal, making the obstacle course. But it's going to be worth it. Bouncing over stuff, bobbing through stuff, even hunkering down real low to go under stuff. Hey, are you about ready to switch jobs like we talked about? Actually, what you just said reminded me of something. I forgot the pogo springers let you squeeze their springs so you can go low. I'd better go add some bars we can duck on. Oh, well, I can do that while you... It'll only take me a little bit, then I'll come back and we can switch. All right. <laughs> can't wait for Chuck to get those pogo springers for his wheels. I can't think of anything else that rhymes with wheels. Hey. Biggs? I finished the obstacle course, and it is awesome! You finished it? We decided we'd both get a chance to work on it. I know, but I got started, and the next thing I knew, it was all finished. Great. Wow, you've really gotten a lot of the track cleaned up. It's almost done. Yeah, I've been working hard. Really hard. Well, you did a great job. Thanks for helping me out. I'll do the rest of the work. Do you want to see the course? I think I'll wait till tomorrow. I'm awful tired and sore, and I might have pulled my bumper a little loose tugging some tires. Big, wait! I shouldn't have left you to do this by yourself. I didn't want to do the hard, boring work, so I took the fun stuff. That wasn't fair to you would have been neat to work on the obstacle course. I should have at least helped you with the cleanup. That's what my parents wanted me to do in the first place. Look how much better this track looks. You've done a really good job, son. You've definitely earned those pogo springers. Wow! Well, they're as cool as you said they were gonna be, Chuck. They are cool. But I can't take them if I didn't do the work to earn them. What are you talking about, Chuck? Mom, Dad, I was so excited about the pogo springers that when Big said he'd help out with the stuff I didn't want to do, I let him. I was only thinking about myself. You know better than that, Mr. Machine. That's called taking advantage. Mom, Dad, Biggs, I sure am sorry. It's okay, buddy. I know you didn't set out to take advantage. You were just excited about those springers is all and didn't realize what you were doing. It was still wrong, Biggs. You did all the hard work, not me. In fact, if anyone deserves these pogo springers, it's you. I hope you'll tell me all about how cool they work on the new obstacle course. Whoa, really? And Mom and Dad, I still want to make up for what I did wrong. And we want you to as well. I know. I'll do another big job you'll pick for me, instead of this one, since it's already mostly done. That's a good start. And I'll look for other ways I can help around the truck stop. And someday, maybe I'll try to earn those pogo springers again. Sounds like a plan, son. In the meantime, the cleanup of this track isn't quite finished yet. Give me just a couple of minutes and it will be. What should I do while Chuck's working? Glad you asked, buddy. 
I've got an idea for you. How are you doing, Biggs? Oil now, sharks, and call me jumpy. I sure do like this job. Testing out your obstacle course with these pogo springers is a hoot. Glad you're having fun, pal. Uh, you've earned it. Well, Chuck gave me some pogo springers for my wheels. I can tell Biggs likes some cuzzy whoops and squeals. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Okay, it didn't get messed up. Whew. What didn't get messed up, Chuck? My Mother's Day card. It's Mother's Day today, so I decided to make my mom the best Mother's Day card ever. I can just imagine how much she's gonna love it. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Mother's Day gift ever. I imagine my card will be so great that she'll say, Oh, Chuck, it's the best Mother's Day gift ever. Whoa, that does sound cool. So come on, partner, show it to us. Um... Uh... Okay, it's not exactly what I imagined, but it's still pretty good, right? Hey, can we use this extra stuff to make cards for our moms? Sure. I'm just going to take this to my mom. Then I'll come back and help you. Happy Mother's Day. Huh? And I got you something for the best mom ever. <gasps> flowers. I love flowers. Yeah, I made this out of victory bouquets from the races I won. Oh, thank you, Rally. They're beautiful. Mwah. flowers, I decided that my card wasn't enough to show my mom how super, super much I love her. But I can't get her flowers like Rally. What else can I give her? Well, besides the card I made, I'm also giving my mom this. An illuminating, self-regulating combination digital tire pressure gauge and tire inflator. Watch this. It can inflate all four tires at once, as big as you want them. Is that super cool or what? My mom's been wanting one. Wow! Maybe I could get my mom something like that. Sorry, dude. This was the last one at the store. You should see the cool thing I got my mom. A pile of garbage? And there's something special about it. Oh, but where'd it go? Oh, must be in there somewhere. Hang on. See, I, I put it here. Oh, oh, got it! Oops, dropped it. Wait a second. Rowdy, that gives me a great idea. Tumbling timing belts. Chuck, you're not gonna give your mom trash, are you? No, Soku, but my mom's shop gets messy and she has a hard time finding her stuff. If I clean it up for her, it would be an awesome Mother's Day gift. Thanks, Rowdy. <laughs> Hey, I found it! Oh, no. Ha! Wow! 
This is like trying to find a gift in a pile of trash. <laughs> clean the inside, too. Hey, Mom, guess what I'm doing is... Huh? Your shop. It's totally neat and clean. What happened? Isn't it terrific? <laughs> what do you think, Chuck? It's my Mother's Day gift for your mom. Your dad had to bend over backwards to get all that cleaning done. Oh, bend over backwards? Did it hurt, Dad? <laughs> no, Chuck. Bend over backwards is an expression that means making a really big effort to help someone. Mwah! Aw, happy Mother's Day, Holly. Isn't he the sweetest? Now, what was it you wanted to show me, Mr. Machine? Uh, nothing. <sighs> so now what are you gonna do? I just don't know. My mom is the best, and she deserves the best present. But I'm running out of ideas. Found it! It's great, Rowdy. Perfect for your mother. <sighs> I wish I had a perfect idea for my mom. Well, you could do what I do every year for my mama. What's that? I gather my family around and perform Biggs's bouncing big time Mother's Day line dance. Big's bouncing big time. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> My mama loves the show. A show? Power and pickups. I can put on a Mother's Day show of my own. Will you guys help? Sure, Chuck. But what's the show gonna be about? It's gonna be about my mom. How she... How she bends over backwards for me. Bends over backwards? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Bending over backwards means making a special effort to help someone. That's what my mom does. And that's why she rocks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, guys, I want to get it perfect, so let's do a practice run. If there's mud on my mud flap, you help to get it clean. And when my shock stops bringing you fix up this machine, if my mom forgets to dance, then you make the repair. When my tires get long, you fill them with air. Mom, you really rock. In case you haven't guessed, I really think you're awesome. Yeah, Mom. to see the surprise you've planned for me. Okay, Mom. Wait until I honk my horn to take off your blindfold. If there's mud on my mud flap, you fell to get it. Huh? Whoa! Uh-oh! Whoa! Oh, no! Watch out!
Look, are you hurt? I'm fine. <gasps> no, Mom, don't read that. It's just that- I love you, Mom, because you're the best mom ever. <sighs> I know it's not as cool as the flowers, or Dad cleaning up your shop, or a great song, or- Oh, Chuck, it's the best Mother's Day gift ever. It is? Of course. I love anything you make for me, because it comes from your heart. That's why I loved Rally's gift and Dad's gift, too. You all gave me something that showed that you love me. You know, I guess Dad, Rally, and I are all different, so it's okay that we show you our love in different ways. Sorry the show didn't work out the way you planned, Chuck, but what about the song you wrote? Yeah, your mom should hear it. I'd love to hear it, Chuck. Well, okay, here goes. If there's mud on my mud flap, you fell to get it clean. Mom, you really rock. In case you haven't guessed, I really think you're awesome. Yeah, Mom, you are the best. It's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah. Tonka Chuck, yeah. Remember the rule, no racing in the repair shop. <laughs> nice one, Boomer. Now watch this. No playing ball in the diner now. That's the rule. Don't forget the rule. You can't goof around near the fill-up area. Oh. Power and pickups! Another goal! Not really, Chuck. Bumper Blitz rules say you can't catch the ball and carry it in your dump bed. So that goal doesn't count. Another rule? No racing in the repair center, no playing ball in the diner, even Bumper Blitz has rules. Why do we even need all these rules? I don't know, but they must be there for some reason. It feels like they're just there to stop us from having fun. <sighs> if I was in charge of making rules, they sure would be different. I imagine that would be awesome. <laughs> coming out to watch the best Bumper Blitz player in the world, me, Chuck the Truck. Today I'm changing the rules to make the game even more fun. Instead of this plain old regular ball, we'll use this, a cool new ball that floats in the air. And instead of rolling around on the ground, we're gonna fly in the sky. <laughs> Bumper Blitz would be much more fun. Power and pickups! That gives me an idea. Since it's no fun following other trucks' rules, let's invent a game where we make all the rules. We'll call it Excito Ball. Because with our rules, it'll be the most exciting game ever. Awesome! Sounds fun! <laughs> Oops, sorry. I'll put it back. Wait a second, Rowdy. Maybe we don't have to keep the goal there. In fact, the first rule of Excitoball is whenever you make a goal, you move the goal somewhere else. The goal is going to be in a different place every time? Why not? We're making the rules, aren't we? Oh, yeah, I guess we are. Okay, then I have an idea for the next rule. We have to chase after the ball on just two wheels. Do the next rule. Uh, 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 oh, before you kick the ball, you have to clap your back tires together. Oh! No goal, Rowdy.
Cody, the rule was that you have to be on just two wheels. You just put all four of yours on the ground. But I had to, so I could clap my back tires. It's really hard to do both things at the same time. Not if you do it like this. Go! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that didn't count because I didn't move the goal yet. And remember, the first rule of Excito Ball is that after you make a goal, you move the goal somewhere else. Only if your goal counted, which it didn't, since you broke the rule. Uh, Come I'm on, guys, we can talk about that one. No. Guys, guys, the whole point of making our own rules was so we could have more fun. And this isn't any fun at all. Seems like rules are no fun, no matter who makes them. Rules stink. And usually I like stinky things, but not this time. Well then, maybe we don't need any rules. From now on, Excited Ball has no rules. And that's the only rule. Come on! It's the Excited Ball Championship game! And Rowdy has the ball. He's about to score a goal and... Can move the goal? Why not? There's no rules, remember? And watch, now I'm gonna score. Huh? Not anymore. That wasn't fair, Boomer. But Chuck, there's no fair or unfair in a game with no rules. <laughs> I've got the ball! Yeah, but I've got the goal. Oh, no! After it! Hey! Wait for me, guys! why we're not allowed to race in the repair sander. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Sorry, we're getting in everyone's way out here. Excuse us, excited ball game coming through. There are no rules. Hmm, maybe that's why my parents have a rule about no goofing around in the fill-up area. center rule. We almost knocked over my mom's tools in there. Then we got in the customer's way in the fill-up area. That must be why there's a rule about goofing around out there. Well, I know one rule we still haven't broken. Always clean up after yourself. What do you say, guys? Bumpers up! Red the long haul! So, we're sorry. But now we know exactly why there's a rule about not playing ball in the diner. Sounds like you learned your lesson, champ. Once you clean up, you can go back to playing Excito Ball. But outside. Actually, Mr. Chuck's dad, Excito Ball turned out to be no fun at all ball, especially when it had no rules. Too bad, because I like some of the rules we made up before that, like chasing the ball on two wheels. 
<laughs> He's right. Some of our rules are fun. Maybe if we pick rules that work together, Excitable still can be the most exciting game ever. But how can we keep track of our rules and make sure we're following them? Oh, I have an idea. Woohoo! I love the new Excital Ball, especially when I score a goal! Another point for Rowdy! Now you get to move the goal. You sure you don't mind that you're not playing, Boomer? I've always wanted to be a referee. Referees get to blow a whistle and stop and start the game when someone goes against the rules. Play ball! I think we did it, Chuck. Excital Ball is the most exciting game ever. Yep, thanks to you guys and our awesome rules. Now watch this. such a hurry. The paved track. I want to see all the work they've done setting up for the qualifiers for the great truck games. Did you forget you were going to help me put away the supplies in the diner? I didn't forget. I was just hoping you'd let me see the cool stunt gear first. <laughs> Tell you what, champ. If you don't take too long, why don't you go have a look, then help me afterward? Red Hot Turbo Chargers! Thanks! Ugh. Your gears don't sound so good. Have you done your maintenance yet? Do I have to? It's so boring. Chuck, you gotta keep your gears and circuits in good shape so you can be fast and strong. Come on, Porter. While Chuck does that, we can get a head start on cleaning up the diner. Guess I better get this over with. This is going to take forever. I wish there was a faster way. Quick pit stop. Guys, I need some maintenance, but I don't have much time. Gotta get back on the track if I want to win. We'll have you across that finish line in no time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're the fastest pit crew in the whole world. Go get a partner. Yay, Team Chuck! Take forever. Besides, my gear shift okay. Well, maybe they could use some maintenance, but will one more day really matter? Hey, Chuck. The half pipe's finished if you want to try it out. Awesome! Whoa, buddy. Sounds like you could use a little maintenance. Right. Maintenance. Sure. Nothing keeps a truck feeling better. In fact, I'm off to have a little work done myself before I haul this crane away. Come on, Chuck. This is so fun! Well, have a good time, Chuck. But don't push those gears too hard. I won't. Hey, Chuck, something wrong with your engine? I think my gears are just a little stale. It's nothing. 
Reckon you ought to be on the half pipe? Your insides sound louder in a gas tank full of lug nuts. I'll be fine. Watch this. I did it. Now I just need to turn around. Whoa! Ah! Better work on your landing, Chuck. Why are you going backwards? No reason. I can go forwards, no problem. Watch! 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 Why don't you just stay there and let me have a look? What's wrong with him, Handy? He's so low on transmission fluid that his gears won't shift. You mean I'm stuck in reverse? Chuck? <gasps> Chuck? There you are, champ. I could really use your help at the diner. Thank goodness you're here, Mr. Chuck's dad. You've got to help us. Er, no, Handy. I'm going to help him to clean up the diner. Huh? I'll be right there, Dad. Okay, see you in a minute. I don't get it, Chuck. Why didn't you tell him? Because I was supposed to do my maintenance this morning, but I was so excited to get to the racetrack that I skipped it. And now if Dad finds out I'm stuck in reverse, I'll be in big trouble. You're not going to tell him? I'll just help him now, and we'll figure out how to fix me later. He won't even have to find out. Well, pop my tires and call me flat. It sure is busy. Is there anything better than a nice round of maintenance, boys? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can do this, but will you guys stick around to make sure nothing goes wrong? Sure we will, Chuck. Uh-oh. Here comes your dad. If he sees you guys here, he might realize something's wrong. You better hide. Good, you're here. Can you move those bumpers out of the way? No problem. He's got him. This is actually sort of fun. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, Chuck's in trouble. Look, Andy, my first job for Dad is finished. And I did the whole thing in reverse. Yeah, you sure did. That was close, Chuck. Yeah, you may not be so lucky next time. Maybe you ought to tell your dad about your gear problem. Come on, guys. It worked out fine. With your help, I can do everything Dad wants. Bumpers up. Bumpers, Bumpers up. up. Sure couldn't have done it without you guys. We're just glad it's over, Chuck. Yeah, and if you ever get stuck in reverse again, you're telling your dad right away instead of dragging us into it. Deal. Now come on, let's get back to the half pipe. Now you're talking. Hold on a second, Chuck. There's just one more thing. Can you put these new bumpers back on the shelf for me? I've got to go to the repair center to help <gasps> your mother. Oh, uh, sure thing, Dad. My friends are already gone. Guess I'm on my own this time. Well, so far so good. Slow and steady and I'll be just fine. What's going on? Well, it's time this old crane and I hit the road. Look out! talk about that later. But right now, we need to stop that crane. And we need your help, Chuck. We need everybody's help. Sure. 
Sure. You got it. Anything. I better go evacuate the diner so nobody gets hurt. I'm gonna try to get past that claw so I can shut the crane off. Maybe we can help stop the claw so Dad can get to the controls easier. I wonder if we can use our half pipe jumps to solve the problem. Okay, Biggs and I used the crates to block the crane. Now all we have to do is stop the claw so Dad can reach the controls. And we can use these here ropes to lasso you the claw. All right, everyone, let's stop that claw. Nice work, everyone. Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry. If I had listened to you in the first place, none of this would have happened. And then I was so worried about you being mad at me that I made things worse by hiding my stuck gears. We're proud you told us the truth, Chuck, even if it took a little longer than it should have. And I'm sorry I put you guys through all that stuff, too. Well, you still need to make up for your mistake. You can start by cleaning up the mess you caused in the diner. No problem. I'll do it right away. Uh, after I do my maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> than any model truck ever made. Our truck's going to zoom so fast over this ramp, it will fly over Boomer, and who knows how far. Well, everybody, Chuck claims he's built the world's fastest toy truck. Today, we'll see if it's true. Wait now, what's this, folks? A jetpack. Oh, hold on to your fenders, folks. Here we go! Unbelievable! Ladies and gentle trucks, you are looking at the world's fastest toy truck. Wow! I can't wait to see how far it goes. Ready and go! Um, did you say it was going to go over me or in front of me? I wonder why it didn't go faster. Cute ride, dudes. Cute? Our truck's not cute. It's a super awesome racing machine. Hi, I'm Chuck. Who are you? Spinner's the name. You know, because I spin. My mom's getting a tune-up, so I just need a place to hang out. I see you put up a ramp for jumping your model truck. Want to see a real model truck take that jump? See? Whoa! That was fast! Guess an engine really helps. You just can't get that kind of speed from your homemade truck. Yeah? Well, we're not done building ours. Once we are, it'll race faster and jump farther, even without an engine. Hmm. How about a jump off? and whichever truck jumps farther wins and gets to keep that awesome hood ornament. I'm not sure that we will do it. Meet us back here at 4 o'clock. You got it. See you at 4. Why did you do that? That truck didn't seem very nice, and we might end up giving him our cool hood ornament. Hold on, Boomer. If Flip says we can do it, then he must have a plan. Right, Flip? Um... I was kind of hoping one of you guys would have a plan. Our truck can't beat a truck with an engine, 
It's impossible. Well, we couldn't just let that show off win. What do you think, Chuck? Is it really impossible? Nothing's impossible. First, we need to figure out the reasons why our truck is going slow. Once we know those, we can think of ways to make it go faster. And I know an expert on speed who can help us for sure. Rally's home in between races. Don't blink or you'll miss him. Either something's wrong with my blinkers or Rally's going slow. My speed reader agrees with you. It shows me how fast Rally's going. When his wheels bounce off the ground, they aren't pushing him forward as much, so he goes slower. Hmm, the ground was bumpy at the parts yard, too. And our model truck was also bouncing around a lot. Mom, we're trying to make our model truck go faster, and it might be having the same problem as Rally. What are you going to do to help Rally go faster? Well, what Rally really needs are new shock absorbers. That's the part that keeps your wheels from bouncing too much on a bumpy road. I know! Let's give our truck shock absorbers! <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't make them that small. Power and pickups! We may not be able to give our truck shock absorbers, but we can get rid of the bumps another way by smoothing out the ground. That could work! Great idea! Not a bad start. Here, take my speed reader. It'll help you clock your truck's speed. I'm off to install Rally's new shock absorbers. Thanks, Mom. The ground's nice and smooth now. Let's see if our truck goes faster. Red Hot Turbochargers! It is faster! It's speedy, all right. Maybe we can win this thing. Or maybe we're gonna lose our hood ornament. We can't give up yet. Think, think. Ah! I can't think with all that squeaking. Maybe if I... Nope. This side doesn't like the squeaking either. Hmm, that squeak may be telling us something. Let's see if Rally knows what it's saying. Hey, Rally. Can you tell us what the squeaking sound is? Sure. That squeaking means there's friction. What's friction? Friction is when two things rub against each other. It sounds like the truck's axle, the part the wheels are attached to, is rubbing against something. Luckily, you can get rid of friction by putting something slippery between the things rubbing together. Let me show you. Try and bring me that heavy fender. <gasps> Not so easy, right? But if you had something slippery under the fender... I know something slippery. We got rid of a lot of the friction. And you made a mess. Sorry, Mom. We were just figuring out how to make our toy truck go faster. We need to put mud on the axles to make it slippery in there. I have a better idea. Use this oil to grease the truck's axle instead. Thanks, Mom. I guess oil is what you usually use for trucks. Now let's see if our model truck has more vroom than squeak. The truck's going faster without the friction. Uh-oh. When the truck pushed against the spring and the shock absorber, the spring stored up some energy inside. Then used that energy to push your truck. Better go get it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Rally. We'll catch it now. I always go faster down hills. The problem is the toy truck's going faster, too. It is going faster. That gives me an idea. Come on. Since things fall faster when they're up high, like on a hill, maybe this downhill ramp will make our truck go faster. It's getting great speed just from going downhill. And with no bumps on the track, it's going even faster. Without friction on the axles, it should sail right over Boomer. I'm pretty sure it didn't. 
Why isn't it fast enough? We've tried everything. Maybe it's just not possible to beat a truck bought in a store. Sorry I got us into this, guys. Hey, guys, look how fast I can race with my new shock absorbers. Look how bouncy they are. Power and pickups. Rally, what did Mom do with your old shocks? Well, I guess she was going to throw them out. Where'd he go? Guess your dump truck friend realized a homemade truck just can't be at a store bought one. Spinner? But it's not 4 o'clock yet. He'll be back. Okay, but if he's not, I win that hood ornament. 4 o'clock. Looks like that hood ornament is mine. Not yet, Spinner. Guys, remember how the Spring and Rally shock absorber made our trucks zoom out of the repair center? Rally said the spring stored up energy when it was pushed in. Then used that energy to push our truck out the door. Exactly. Maybe it can do the same on our track. We'll see about that. It's not over yet, guys. Maybe, just maybe, this will give our truck enough of a push to get over Boomer. Ready, set, go! Whoa! Once you know a few things about speed. I'm really sorry I made fun of your homemade truck. I guess I was showing off before. Hey, Spinner, wait. I bet we could help you make your truck go faster, too. You would do that? Of course. Sure. No problem. Then we can have another jump off. This time, whoever wins gets... Live? What? I was just going to say whoever wins gets a nice round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>